Hello and welcome back to Gundam Breaker 4. And look, the Gundam that we have, that we edited before we ended the last video, is now gloriously displayed in the main menu of my screen. It's kind of like flickering. I don't know if any of you have, are noticing the flickering, if that's getting picked up on recording or maybe that's just something on my monitor. But it's only over the Gundam model. Like it's struggling to keep it all together. I'm just gonna move on from here. Frey's gonna do something to my monitor. Press any button, let's continue forward. <clears throat> Look at that transition though. Oh. Oh, what a clean transition that was. Just to go right into the menu. That's great. So there's a lot of uh, easy achievements in this game that I definitely think that I am going to go and get. What is this bullshit right here? Why is there an SD Gundam displayed in my lobby? Where the hell am I at? Get this Gundam out of here. You will give individual score ranking first prize mobile suit. Brand new Sunrise Gunplay name. No. No. There. What's the matter with you? Display an SD Gundam. Savages. I'm telling you. Is this the shop? This is the shop that we were looking for. The uh, shop. About shop. In the shop, you can use GP to purchase Gunpla boxes that contain parts and preset colors. Build parts that act as additional equipment, helmet icons used in profile cards, and diorama materials. Welcome to the shop. I would love it if my Gunpla models came with diorama materials. You gotta buy all that crap separately or get really creative and make your own. Hi, I can sell parts to you too. That's cool. So, gun barrel strike, uh, force impulse, gear adoga, the gym. I've got that gym. He's weird too because it's white, is how the color is. But when you open it up, it's like this weird kind of like teal blue color. GM custom, GM3, gun barrel strike again, Gundam. I just purchased that one. Uh, Gundam recirculation color. Gundam Ground Type, Gunner Zaku Warrior from Destiny, Jund Jagd Doga, High Mobility, Jagan, Mobile Jin, Raisin Gear Doga, another Gundam Strike, and Zaku Warrior. Which I would like to get the Zaku Warrior. Is this like showing like what mobile parts I don't have, or is it showing like these are all the parts? that I do have. Well, I know if I can go to, I think it's, yeah, here we are. Cause I know I have his arm and leg. So if you have them, then the stuff goes away. That's cool. I like that they do things like the that. Builder's parts are this way. Do that. Could also do helmet icons, which I don't care for. Dioramas, background, diorama bases, nothing way. yet. Uh, I do plan on making a diorama at some point. Uh, whoops, I hit buy again, the didn't I? This way. Yes, they are. That's where they are. But uh, no, what we're, we came in here to do was actually continue forward with um, the story mission. I wanted to come in here and do the story mission a little further. Uh, one thing that I want to do too is to also pick off some easy achievements early in the game. So I'm going to focus on doing that. And one of the ways of doing that is to fight using every type of possible weapon that they have. So instead of using a rifle, we're now going to go use a bazooka. And then for this one, we're using the axe. That's going to give us a achievement. Uh, shields, I think, are all the same. Yeah, it's all going to be the same stuff. There's one for having eight optional build parts and we've got enough to do that so I'm thinking uh, we, we do exactly that we start putting on these optional parts I don't know about putting it there it'll 
body no it's just like in in the body there right arm eh wish i could move it myself oh well maybe be a better place than any if it's stuck on the side there on the back the back might work just right in the face it's middle of the face now let's go back over here left arm which one was it this one we're kind of like hung off on the side uh, we don't get anything for Horn. Hey, it comes from Dynasty Warriors Gundam Reborn. That's cool. Mushu Gundam. I can't wait till I can get a Mushu Gundam. Uh, I definitely think we should have manipulator arms just hanging on the side of us like this. Like right there. Perfect. And then just here on the right side too. Yeah. It looks great. Uh, just right there is perfect. Uh, the Riki Tyron face would be wonderful to get. I'm trying to get the ones that got like the EX skills and stuff on them first. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. They they look great right where they're at. There we go. Uh, we need three more. So let's get the the cosmetic -y one. Is there? guess that would be the best placement for it because everywhere else is just kind of weird looking just cover his face just keep it right over his face oh hey now it's a knee cover i am gonna go back to the the center middle body here let's do some horns there and horn there there we go set eight builder parts and we're gonna rock a match using all these builder parts. Uh, let's see. You can use the gun barrel now too. So put that there. And do we have any more? Did it give us optionals? It did, didn't it? Yeah, we got a few. Manipulator arm. Put there. And then uh, what was the other one? These ones here. Just right from both. Just do both. Both shoot out at once. All right, we're looking fantastic. I think we just need to, yes, we're applying those changes. Go into paint, really get a, a good, uh, where's the select all, coloring presets, uh, Zazabi. There we go. Wonderful, we look great. It's too bad I can't carry anything in the the arms. Such a very red mobile suit. Yeah, flight changes. Now let's go and uh, be amazing and awesome and continue the story. Uh, so we did that one at S. I guess you can change difficulty. So we're just kind of doing the medium one. And then I guess we pick one or two. We're going to do two. Which is just destroy target. We get surfing custom double Gatling gun. And uh, option builder parts double Gatling gun on our left and right. They carry out missions with friends to get familiarized with battle. Doing so will allow them to come to understand the legendary gunpla builders of this world. Great. That's great. mission different from the last one it's basically the same as a normal battle just defeat the enemies as they appear it's more about teaching us the combat basics at this point so it might be better to just jump right into it makes sense I'd rather practice than study anyway let's go kick some butt you dropped oh, out of school wait. to do this I need to adjust my equipment first be right back guys And she's gone. At least she's excited. <laughs> you good to go? Last chance to make changes. We're good.
That lion part's kind of growing on me. I'm kind of enjoying it now. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yep. Go. The best defense is a good offense. Just gotta defeat the target mobile suit. Destroy target rules. This mission is to defeat the specific target. The target enemy will be marked. So defeat the target to clear the mission. Uh, the mission will not be cleared if enemies other than the target are defeated. You defeated him. Got a two star back. Tall geese. Ooh, no. Get the one that was close to me. Boom. Used my arms to just destroy him. We cleared wave one. S tiered. music slaps you're doing well but don't let your guard down you don't have to tell me just watch my back the best defense is a good offense Those arms in front of us are so deadly. No, we didn't get him. Got an S. Good job. I'm afraid we were taking too long. Oh, look at that thing. It's all head and shoulders. Can we just like lock onto it? Locking onto it would be like really great if you could do that. There, Jesus. Switch my targeting. That one part. There we go, and brought him down.
that got me. Ooh, that got me too. Trying to get that shoulder. Ooh. Rip my shield off. Uh oh. Let's bring it down to my level. Let's bring it down to my level. Shot right there. Just gonna crawl up him. Ooh. There we go. Took a little longer than I wanted it to. Just got an A. Well, her skills are solid. It still wound up giving us an S? No, that one said A. But hey, we got achievements. Well, we did get a perfect score. Good. More credits. New features unlocked. You can now set custom poses in my room. Gundam Brown type, GM custom, GM3, Jagan. All preset colors we've unlocked. Hey, we get a new weapon. Machine guns are weapon types with a high parts loss potential that excel at filling up the EX gauge and one-on-one -on -one MS fights. As they have rapid fire capabilities, they can easily dispatch extra enemies. That's great. And we got a beam tomahawk, which I still think falls under X. It does. Uh, definitely gonna go use the machine gun. That Zaku 2 machine gun that we got. 
I uh, got some level three items here, so we're gonna switch that around. Might do Wing Gundam, Zaku Warrior, right arm, nothing in the left arm. You get some new legs, some ally strike Gundam legs. Backpacks, we unlock the Surfing Custom. And that is all, folks. So let's, uh, let's go. Use the beam tomahawk. Use the bazooka. Yeah, what's this? And now it's time for GB4 News. Oh, boy. Hey, hey, everybody in the lobby having a good time? It's her hair. Rico, the GB4 idol. Like floating? It's not even attached to her. For the latest GB4 news and updates. Just kind of hovers there. Today's topic is the question on everybody's mind. Why do you think it's Just hovering how far there? will Meister Jin go? Like, cut it off? Meister's clan won the recent clan battle for an incredible record of 99 consecutive wins. This is their fifth championship in a row. Oh, yeah, good for them. So far, this builder is unmatched in GB4. Will anyone step up to challenge Meister? I will in about He's 10 missions. The rankings since the last server maintenance, but I'm hoping we'll see a new star appear to put him in his place. Yeah, put him in his place. The next event will be held soon. We'll have all the details for you as soon as they're finalized. So stay tuned. That's all the updates I have for you today. But I'll see you next time for more GB4 news. This is MC Rico signing off. Happy battling. And I wish I had that kind of energy. Did you guys see that lady's hair? Mr. Jin. That guy's always topping the charts. Wow, so he's the best there is, huh? Hmm? Why'd you get so quiet all of a sudden? Listen, I get it. It can be pretty intimidating to see someone that far above you in the rankings. What? No! I'm excited to finally learn the name of the guy I need to beat! Come on, even he doesn't scare you? I mean, sure, a little, but mostly, I'm just amped to have a goal to shoot for. Yeah, shoot that goal. If you're gonna play in a game like this, you should be playing to win. Don't you think so, Tao? Well, yeah, but that's a little easier said than done. Jeez, grow some backbone, will ya? You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Familiar with the backbone, yes. It's just not. See, he agrees. I feel like you kind of pressured him into it. A little. Still counts. It's true. She got you there. The is what we're aiming for. We're gonna need to give it our all. Go team! Wow, she's really serious. So the story is supposed to like teach you proper uh, like team interaction. Like when you interact with other people, are you supposed to be this hyped? Emotes. By pressing LTRT in the lobby, the emotes selector will be displayed. You can use that. There are a total of 26 emotes. And the emotes saved in the emoter selector can be changed. While the emote selector is displayed, pressing X will bring up a list of emotes. Select an emote that you would like to replace and press A to switch it up for an emote in the selector. <laughs> Alright. Messenger. Custom. Oses. Unlocked. 
The new custom poses features has been unlocked. Poses in my room, the results screen, and the profile card can be customized. This can be selected from a setup custom in my room. Please give it a try. Uh, let's go ahead and go to my room and we're gonna we're gonna change our parts there's custom poses let's do a little custom pose in custom poses you can set poses to be used as the results screen and on the profile card can we use the one that's out there the FX burst this one here that's the one uh, assemble we got some higher level items arts and we're gonna use them got a level 2 force impulse Gundam head which is what we currently have equipped uh, over here on body I know we picked up some level 3 stuff we got a level 3 Leo body level 3 wing Gundam body I need to go over to the spec so I can see what it gives us Leo gives us nothing we can get machine cannon and self-destruct with the wing gundam body who wouldn't want to just self-destruct and then that's pretty much it uh wing gundam it is did it already put the proper colors on it too that's cool uh we've got this is our right arm i don't believe we got a better right arm i think it was like feet that we got that was better uh anything over here level two or higher uh, level three feats some more feeties which gives us ex skill armor schneider let's equip it and let's see backpack got the surfing custom which will give us a beam cannon and a bazooka that might be what i'll do look at these big old weapons on the side of us let's do it let's get that surfing custom and then we are going to move on to the Zaku machine gun. I think that was everything, yeah? Oh, this is level 3. So we'll use that. Um, no shields, right? Yeah, no different shields. Then we got all of these. I'm going to lose some of them. I really don't want the manipu manipulator arm. Uh, where is the remove button? Where is the remove there it is uh gun barrel on the side i'm not too crazy about don't mind the horns don't mind the uh missile launchers on the side although they do kind of conflict a bit with the backpack but so does the shield yeah I'll keep them all right uh go to yx skills armor schneider and beam cannon to be equipped op Gonna do self destruct. Actually, you know, I'm gonna put bazooka. Self destruct's gonna go on OP skill palette too. Shining shot, we already have. Machine gun. Or machine cannon. It goes there. Self destruct can go there. And I think that is everything. It is. Alright. Flat changes. There we go. Don't we look amazing? With all these extra equipment added to us we just got so much going on right now and that so much that we have going on is going to reflect so well in our next video when we go into mission three but uh gotta gotta keep time at a very decent amount i had it at an hour at the last video so we're gonna cut it down to 30 minutes I'm liking the game so far, still kind of getting a feel of everything that's going on, and I still feel like in Chapter 1-2 you're kind of unlocking everything slowly. Like, there's so much that this game has to offer, but it kind of gives and introduces you to everything in a rather slow pace, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, because there's a lot going on in the game once you get everything. But you'll see what I'm talking about as we play further on. Anyways, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next game of Gundam Breaker 4. Goodbye.